Hello everyone and welcome back to the Schmeller PPC YouTube channel. Today we'll be going over a new piece of uh, news from Google called Enhanced Conversions. Uh, this actually came out on the 30th of September, uh, about two months ago now. And again, this is just another way of Google trying to close the gap between cross-device activity, cross-session activity, and try to allow you to have better tracking if someone sees an ad or they interact with an ad and then they go away and come back and purchase um, Google is, that's their main fight right now. That's why in September, display and video attribution came out of beta and actually is now starting to work quite well. Um, and with the third party companies like uh, Northbeam and Triple Whale, um, Google's trying to do their best to beat them to this overall everywhere uh, attribution problem. So it very simply, um, without going into the actual code of what it does and what it is, um, enhanced conversions, AKA is if you are a Google signed in user, and you view an ad or interact with an ad, anything like that, and then they convert to a website, then that conversion tag will capture a field through that email of the Google user, and then hash data to securely send it to Google. And then the hash data is matched against Google user uh, hashed user data, and a conversion is reported in your account. Basically, what this does, it allows people to, if you're signed into a you know a Google user, to have cross device and cross session activity or multiple, uh, a lot of time between uh, an, an interaction with an ad where that normally will get lost inside of attribution and then, then that be attributed to either, you know, direct, organic, social, referral, something like that if they originally came in off an ad and then properly be attributed to the first ad campaign that they saw or interacted with. So um, this just, again, came out just over two months ago and it's actually gonna be required in early 2022. That's why I was told from a Google rep, um, I'm guessing more mid to late, just because they're probably not gonna announce it until that springish um, marketing event for 2022, and then have you know six months to finish it out. So probably a year from now. However, if you do have the opportunity to do it in your account, I think you should do it because I have seen better overall conversions come through as well as about 5% higher, I would say, looking at time periods. I mean, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that here. So if you go to your Google Ads account and go to Tools and Settings, Measurement Conversions, and then go to uh, your main conversion action, you need to see if it's actually there for you. And if it is, so when you're in here, you're actually gonna see Settings and Take Setup, that's always there. And then you actually have Enhanced Conversions. Um, I already did this for this client, so what you need to do is it's gonna walk you through like how to either do Global Site Tag, aka editing the GTA code, or going through Google Tag Manager. Do not do it through Google Tag Manager. I've tried it on a couple uh, accounts and I've always had to work with the Google Dev Team. And they even they've told me about two weeks ago now that it's not actually set up properly for someone to do it. You have to have a dev team meeting to do that. So just editing the G, the G tag code is always easiest. It's literally just a one one line addition to your uh, site code. So you just want to turn that on. Tag type global site uh, tag. Edit that automatic setup. If you have automatic setup, this means actually Google is, um, it, this is like a, another section of the beta um, that not every client has. I've only had of the 15 to 20 clients that I've imported this on, maybe three or four, and then actually you don't even have to edit it. Um, you just hit save, email, and that's it. However, if you don't have automatic setup, what you need to do, as I see if this pops up here, is go into your GTAG code. If you use Tag Manager, good question. Um, that's actually, I'm not sure what to do in that situation. So if you have a question about that, let me know in the comments. However, if you go through uh, conversion tracking here, let's do conversion tracking. And then what we want to do is scroll down. So once you find enhanced conversions in this helps uh, document, again, they don't have this in the actual setup directions, which is really weird. I'm not sure why. I, mean, I think once it becomes required, it's going to be a simple uh, addition here. However, you have to manually find this for now. So in this help section, I'll go to just look up enhanced conversions, and then you want to click on this article, set up enhanced conversions manually with the global site tag. Once you do that, scroll down until you see uh, this section right here. Again, we have the same thing as the, the title, and then you're going to see these two options. Hit configure your conversion page global site tag, and then all you're adding is this right here with the brackets, allow enhanced conversions, true. And that's what you want to add to right here in your, uh, after your AdWord conversion ID, you're gonna, that's the same code right here. You just want to add that after that. And this is what it looks like actually in a, um, a G tag. 
So again, it's gonna be a little bit misconfigured for you probably since it's so uh, short. However, what we're gonna do is look down here. Again, this is normally where it would end after your um, AdWords uh, tag right there. But now you just wanna add this right here. Again, that's it and very simple. And then once you do that, save it, wait about a week usually. And then you're gonna come back through here and you're gonna actually go to diagnostics. It's gonna be a new tab for you. And you're gonna, it's gonna say current status. And then you have three areas, coverage, customer data, validity, and then match status. And everything should be working as expected around a week to two weeks. And then it takes about 30 to 45 days of learning where Google is just gonna kind of learn in the background of how this would interact with your campaign and overall data. And then after that 45 day period is when it actually kicks in. So if you do it basically now, by February is actually going to start working for you. So again, the faster you do it, the better it's going to be and you're all set up then for 2022. All right. That is it again for today for the Google Ads news. If you liked it, please like and comment below. If you don't like it again, please comment below and I'm always trying to create better content for you. And as always for a new segment, this is actually sponsored by uh, the Marketing Utopia. I'm a proud member here and actually a proud contributor. I do articles every other week usually as well as working on a Google Ads course. Um, if you're interested, if you have your own e-commerce brand, SaaS, uh, SaaS brand, anything like that, everything here is trying to, uh, for $25 a month, I believe, and I do have a referral link below, um, kind of just how to create your products better to market everything, right? It's pretty much uh, an online library. If you're trying to become the best online marketer that you possibly can be for either clients, your ag agency that you work for, um, your own products, stuff like that. Um, everything here, let's see the topics. You have mastery courses. I think there's over 40 courses now on every topic imaginable. You have social media marketing, paid media, which is Facebook, Google ads, TikTok, stuff like that. You have commercial optimization, uh, email marketing, copywriting, SEO, Amazon, lead gen, sales, cryptocurrency, literally everything in here. Um, very proud of being a member here. And I think there's over 3000 members strong. So again, if you're interested in this, again, they're a kind sponsor of these videos, please hit the referral link below and go increase your knowledge. Thank you again, guys, and have a great day.